starting to be a little more judgmental. They were starting to um, look at look at everybody a little funny and look at us all a little funny. Like I remember we have jeans day in church and like we could come as we are and things of that sort. And once it got really, really big, it was kind of like, you can't do that anymore. But when I moved to Atlanta off of my church, but when I moved to Atlanta, that's when I really, really lost my likings for black churches. I, I went to three churches in Atlanta. I went to three churches in Atlanta and one was small and the other two were kind of like considered mega churches but not really so the small church I, I i enjoyed the church but there was a service that they had and literally you guys they stopped the service they stopped the service and they talked about all of the ministers that was on the stage that did not pay their tithes. They literally had the office manager bring out a list of people that did not pay their 10% to the church. And that's when I decided I was never going back to that one. So then I went to another church and at that church it was a really show me church like you can tell as soon as you walk in it was a show me church now what changed my viewership now i went to the church i say i went there for a good two or three months but i just could not get with the new stuff like i really couldn't get with it so when i first got there they had the atms and stuff like that i despise i cannot stand seeing atms in the church i really did not like that but i was like i'm there for the word and i like the way he talked like I like preachers that teach, um, th teach lessons throughout services. That's the type of preacher that I like. So I did enjoy that. But I noticed the more and more and more I went to that church, the more stuff used to bother me. And I'm talking finances. Like I, you know, if a, a pastor like what he like, if he like the finer things in life, that's fine. But I did start to notice little things. I did start to notice that you know we'll have a fund. Like, they had this financial restoring thing, and, like, they're like, restore your finances, right? Restore your finances, and I'm like, oh, these are classes that we could go to to help us with, you know, student loan debts or paying off our car or purchasing a house and stuff like that. And they'll be like, all for a down payment of $199. So you have to pay $199 to the church to learn how to work out your finances. So I'm thinking $199, you have over 20,000 members. Well, that's an exaggeration. You have over 2,000 members, however many members. Why do you need that? A lot of the classes that I'm used to going to in the church were often free. Like I remember once um, summer I wanted to do Bible study throughout the summer and you had to pay for the classes. I've never seen anything like that. And I understand people time are not free, but I'm like, what are, what are we doing with the funds that are often given to the church? And at that church in particular, you can text in your funds, you can sell your, um, you can send your funds online. They have an online link. They also have an app where you can turn in your funds.